questions answered. We're going to nuke the map pick of Mouse Sports here in this head-to-head -head versus phase. There's a lot of history between these two squads, both ancient and recent, with BMAS moving over from that trial position in phase and joining Mouse Sports as a permanent fixture. Ancient oh, like boy. aliens. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's pretty old, I guess. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking out loud. Ancient yeah. aliens now. So you're telling me it's possible that FaZe Clan could lose on Nuke to Mouseports. Maybe Ooh. not at this rate. Mouseports frozen, and they're all getting out on this site, making sure that at least some of the fight is being brought to that of FaZe. However, when the duel right. so far has been FaZe, 3v2 now currently Rops and Bemis. Try and get this bomb planted. Well, Bemis needs to stay alive, though. They're coming up the vents. They're actually going to stop, and that's great for Rops, who's on this wrap round, who's on this flank. Rain has started to consider with one of these players going unnoticed, unspotted. So Rops goes further. He goes all the way around. Kierby and sticking forward. Oh, dear, that got dicey. Rops gets the kill, though, and now he can go back inside and climb up the ladder. Bemas has been stalling this entire time as Nico sits in the vents. And uh, finally, with him being spotted, Nico takes his chance to get up the ladder. Bemas retreats, and they can actually drop B. They can just hit this lower site. As long as Bemas can get away from this fight, he's going to win it instead. Second kill from the young gun, from the new boy on the block against his old team. There's so many storylines, and now the architect, he needs to hunt them down and finish the job. Ah, yes, the architect. Well, Howie. Well, how are he going to figure out this one? <laughs> oh, 2v1. Yeah, that's the big question, right? Rain over at ramp, trying to get stuck in. On either side of the ramp, mouse sports are concealed. And they just oh. swing him together. It's Rops and Beamass, the new dynamic duo here for Mouse Sports, locking in that pistol round. And one thing I will say as well is like for someone like Beamass, right? He had his time in the limelight joining phase. This is now his chance to make like a real impression, it feels like. Because as he kind of divulged in that interview, like when he was in phase, not to like detriment of phase or anything, but he was just kind of having to fill a lot of these spots, not necessarily where he feels like he could offer the most of the team. Whereas Mouse Sports, you know, he's looking to be a permanent fixture here. So as a result, like you are trying to design some of your games game plan around where someone like BMAS feels confident. So I think we're going to see the most we've seen yet out of BMAS. And I think for him as well, like this is such a good chance to adver advertise yourself and just show how much you can bring to a team in the right conditions. You know, you don't want to be thought, thought of as like that fifth man to fill the gap anymore. You want to be thought of as someone that gets picked up for realsies. For realsies. <laughs> Yeah, I've watched uh, many a late night Beamer stream. He he plays pugs until the, the early hours, the late hours even. So uh, this guy's got some talent. I don't need to tell you that. He's here for a reason, but I will anyway, regardless. Oh, so they're creeping down ramp. They're going to B. Phase, they are not falling for anything right now. Just Kierby and lower. Oh, a second rotate coming down. It's Nico. Kierby needs a kill here at least. There's the shot. Good stuff. More to follow up, though. No one's actually come through the ramp. Nico's had time to throw a smoke down. They've got to commit. And with that kill, they could. But now they can't because the smoke keeps them contained. Nico moving round to the window that has been cut off by the utility. And Mouse Sports, very slow, very steady, but moving into B with utility and denying FaZe any angles except Rain. Oh, man. Rain have that one dead to right. But Rob's just a little quicker on the trigger. Ooh. Yeah, big headshot there, a deagle kill. On to Bemis from the former teammate, Nico. This one's not going to get any easier as time goes by. It seems Nico and 8 HP brokey with the scout, and they're going to contemplate backing away. It'll maybe costing some more money here for Mouse. Don't sleep on these deags. They can be dangerous in the hands of FaZe, but... Fortunately, not today. Only some kills, and the round goes the way of Mouse Sports. They get out with the guns alive, three of which. Nice little start from Mouse Sports. Not you know, rushing down lower and just taking a few seconds there and puts a bit of a seed of doubt in FaZe's mind. Like, are they hitting B? Are they going back to lobby? We don't have this info. Yeah, B's seen nothing. And even though Nico comes on rotation down anyway, it's, yeah, it's only two players lower, and Mouse Sports just cut everyone off. Rain needed that kill if FaZe were going to win that round. I start for Mal Sports on a map that we have seen them tend towards quite often. They open Cologne by beating Navi here as well. On Nuke. The numbers are actually pretty bad for both teams on this map. Like FaZe have only got 27 win percent. I thought it'd be way higher. They do love playing it. But yeah, FaZe have had turbulent times to say the very least. Rough waters.
uh, one way of putting it. There's one way to put it right there. Cole's there almost nets himself two sweet frags. Instead, it's just one, and it's Bemis that falls. Upper bomb site is lost. They're going to go for the plant, and there it is for mouse boards. That grenade definitely not designed like that. Just hits the pole and just shoots straight back up into no man's land. The mouse boards have all but won this round at this point. Man, Cold, he had a nice pistol round. And then again on the A site with the USP, he like, oh dear. He, uh, he takes down the first, he dinks up the second. He almost laid mouse balls to waste on a full eco, but instead it's going to be that third. Chris, he has run right away on 2 HP. He rops. Oh, oh nice I shot him. for Brokey. One kill. There it is. Brokey, one HP as well as he gets out. No AK for I'll you. I'll find it. Bomb blew it away. Oh, well. Good round nonetheless. And he's got money for the orb, so he could go right for it. They throw that scout out of here. It's a full buy for FaZe in the first of which. As Mouse Sports, they only got out with one alive, so not exactly rich. Was that like a Bostonian thing right there? Or? Out of here. Hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hugo. That's Hugo B. Boston there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the B in Byron stands for Boston. Shocker. Plot twist. Here comes the smokes outside. A wall of them at that. Nico. Being put up on the top of the garage. Oh, boy. And not an angle that you often have to fight. Players know it exists. But when the smokes line up like that, it really does come together. Nico putting FaZe up in this round number game-wise. In Fnatic Heretics, which was a series in Cologne, Flusher spotted Keo on that spot and he mollied him off. I remember that. Mm. I've never seen anyone molly that spot, but it worked. Yeah, you're right. Never usually expecting that one. Kiebi expects the ramp peak, though, and finds a second kill for FaZe. Five on three. Now they just tuck in. Now they just chill out because Mouse Sports, they've got to be the ones to fight their way into the site. Could see Chris or BMAS flash a player through heaven here, clearing the spawn first, making sure there's no one lurking. But FaZe, they're just doubling down on the sites, and I like the setup. Three on A, two on B. They give Mouse Sports all the room, all the control. They can wrap heaven, main, secret vent, you name it. It's all up for grabs but they're watching those positions as well. So up heaven, Bemis goes. Nico, it's his contact to make, but I imagine Chris is going to flash him through. Oh, Nico, here's the flash, and now he knows that a man has taken up position in his heavens. Carrigan sees the feet, spams down Nico. Chris J going to find another in through heaven, and this here, this was a two on four. They've turned it around in a matter of, sorry, two on five rather. They've turned this around in a matter of moments. And now the bomb down, it's Brokey and Kirby on for the retake, but kirby has got to get up through the vents somehow. This should be pretty tricky for him. Luckily enough, he's been given this room for a moment, but Chris J goes back in for more and Brokey now left in the clutch. But we said that this man is often very dependable in these clutch situations. He does have a kit, but with no utility, to force this fight, he is very much relying on Chris to make an error. Time. And with Chris realizing that five seconds have long since passed, he's not going to be on that defuse. Chris J <laughs> just swings out and takes away four. Oh my, Chris, man, the, the, the first fall by the one on one, and he doesn't even peek it. He just Legend. holds his own, holds his nerve. Nothing more terrifying than making that call. But Chris, man, with years of experience and yeah, the, the brains to back it up. Four kills in the round. He shuts down Brokey at the end of the day. And that is beautiful work from Al Sports up to a 4 0 lead. That's got to feel pretty rough. Yeah, but even trying to come up the vents denied by Chris in heaven. He waited so long only for the same result to happen. Oh dear, double nade outside. Rain gets blown out of the water. I said it was outside, it was actually in main. It was through the door, so... I yeah, denied any presence towards A. Mouseboards will now look to outside with a smoke towards red. Coming up from secret is Nico. You'll often see him in this uh, solo B rotator position. Gonna get mollied off though, smokes it out, or at least tries to. Oh dear, that's a shame. It pops very deep. 
So he won't get a gap or an angle to fight. He's got to wait out the molly, and they know he's here too. Frozen finishes the job that the Flames started. And Mouse Wars, it should just be about tightening the grip on the neck of FaZe in this round. There's only pistols, and they're getting removed one by one. cabby has been patient, but given the chance to find one onto Carrigan, and he can't manage it. So Mouse Sports, 5-0. and oh, Still yet to drop around, and a little team ace there to get them there in round number five. Gonna see that reinvestment come through. Now, Chris J has money to go for an AWP. I wonder if we're gonna see one come out for Mouse. It is T-side nuke, you know, you don't hinge on it as much as you can on other maps. So you always understand if they don't. Carrigan's having a smoothie. He's chilled out. Chris J's in a library. I like the background there for Rops. Yeah. We're seeing some nice variation in these. Let's go back to Rops. I kind of just want to look at the pictures. I think he had his uh his signature up on the wall as well. Really? Or is that his? Oh. I don't know. No, I think it's that's just, just something like, It's around. not like Floppy who had like a bunch of photos of his own face on his on his wall, oh. just like selfies and stuff. That was pretty alpha. I mean, I, I respect the trees. Yeah. Right, you know, because nature is rather soothing. And also tumultuous at the same time. Wild times we live in. 5-0 for Mouse Sports, looking good right now. And yeah, like if I were at Mouse Sports, I would be in no rush to bring out this AWP, right? Why Why bother? Wait till you need it. FaZe have one of their own, though. Brokey's armed to the teeth, and he'll be taking that towards hell. Rob's, oh, he's burning. He is crispy. He's gone down. He does get down. Crispy, they say. <laughs> crispy, very crispy boy. Oh, Kirby, pressure at ramp. And he, while he has dealt with the first, he is stuck. If he tries to leap down, he's surely dead. And so he waits. Brokey's going to rotate in, but Carrigan's already so deep. This is a weird one. They think Kirby's gone. Now they, now he is. They can rest assured in that, thanks to Beamass. And it's down to lower they go. Now, Rops got here earlier in the round. He's still holding down towards Secret to try and deny outside rotations. But this has given Nico a little bit more room than Mouse Sports are a fan of. Ups, though, you're so low on HP. This cross could get you domed, but Nico oh. isn't ready for it. Blindsided by the five HP Rops, now throws the rest of FaZe into a three-on-three -three retake. Rain, Cold Zera, Brokey, these are three big names. Rops is hunting them. He doesn't even want to let them get set up. He's wrapped around towards outside, and the benefit to this is now he, like, he knows, well, it's not secret. He can spot Vent as well, and he might even catch Brokey trying to get down there. Brokey somehow able to find that shot. And now beginning his rotation while the other two start to pressure ramp. Frozen and Beamass left to hold this bomb. Time is really working against FaZe now. And Frozen, all he had to do was stay alive. And even then, he's done it. He's locked it in. Six on the board for Maus. Everyone might fall for the Mouse Sports side, but it's the round that matters. Yeah, that, that lurk from uh, Rops, even though he, his first kill comes in pretty late into the round, just his presence there, just his being down in B, keeps Nico so cautious, and that forces the rest of FaZe to rotate ramp. They take so long, and Mouse Sports just tick off the clock there. Nico, man, he had the read. Did he come down through the vents? Because he couldn't have come down through Secret, assuming Rops was always holding Yeah, them. he rotated yeah. vent. Yeah, he was so scared of the vent the whole time, it was actually Rops deeper on the L bend, so, Really nice lurk from Robs there. Definitely caught FaZe off guard. And he even kills Nico and almost takes down Brokey at the end. That orb will be kept on for another round for FaZe, but they haven't got a round to their name. 6-0 lead on the T side of Nuke. This is beautiful work for Mouse Sports. Oh, Kirby's stickers glitching all over the place. Nico down here in a secret, and he might get tested in this round. It's complimented by a Molotov. Nico is going to drop himself a smoke, and it falls nice and deep, so that gives Nico a little bit more room to maneuver here. But it's not an outside play, and with noise being made there, combined with the wall of smokes and the utility going into Nico, it has put Brokey over towards outside on top of the AC unit. Frozen's got a big rap. No one's even watching. No one's even considering. There's only two on A, and Brokey thinks he has yard covered. He's moved away. There's the entry. Goodbye, Cold, off the top of the site. Brokey flashed out as well. Great util timing by Mouseports. After they get the kills, the third flash guarantees the round as Brokey's not able to equalize or put up any kind of kill. And there we go. FaZe just have to run for the hills again. This is a very well cool T side. They've got the answers.
phase. Well, they're only giving us problems right now. Harry, I'm I'm having obviously this is a very different game. I'm having flashbacks to that vitality phase game that we casted, if you remembered, at Cologne. Uh, I'll remind you because you will remember it oh, was uh, vitality won <laughs> four two on fours or two on fives on the team. How side. could I ever figure? Exactly, phase certainly don't. <laughs> and and the, part of the reason was obviously there were great cool rounds for vitality, but phase were giving them a lot of room. They weren't having the info, and they were playing for the bomb a lot of the time, very tucked, and that just gave vitality so much room to get in positions that FaZe didn't expect. Well, there's an example of it right there and then. They get all that outside control. They get frozen on the wrap through mini. FaZe are none the wiser. They're not even considering. And then when Mouse get a kill elsewhere, well, that just keeps the attention in the wrong direction. Now, this is exciting, though. This is uh, a nice look for a new Mouse. Yeah. Nades towards the doors. Rops is going to try and run the gauntlet again, but this time not through the vent. They flash him oh, into the God, site, and the beautiful. flash is perfect. Rops opening up A. And Nico now trying to run through the smoke, trying to make a hero play of his own, but B Mask going to drop him in the head to head. It is a weird sight to see, right? Yeah. B Mask taking down Nico for a Mouse Sports squad. What? But eight on the board now for Mouse as they keep four alive. It's another save for FaZe. This is brutal. They are just getting handed it right now to open up this map. And you know, like it does it does suck the walks that got removed, right? Yeah. I, he was he was a fan favorite for a lot of people, but sometimes, you know, what it feels like is needed for a team, especially a team that's been on like a mad downward spiral, is just to bring in like that that bright spark of energy and kind of mix things up, right? And like reset the atmosphere in the team. Because yeah. you could tell, like, even from speaking to Maus, that that kind of like glimmer of confidence that they had throughout that entire winning streak at the end of 2019 was very much going away, you know, and suddenly yeah. it was like this. this this atmosphere of like grim pessimism within the squad where everyone's like, yeah, you know, we've we've been doing our homework. But what does that mean? You know, <laughs> like we're mouse sports, right? Like, and, and it is really nice to see them looking dominant again, right? Because I didn't like having this squad just fall off the face of the earth well, after the high heights we saw them hit. I mean, this all intents and purposes, this mouse sports squad might have looked a little different back then, but this was the last mouse sports squad to win an EPL on land. It's true. And from that high high that you're talking about through 2019, through whatever it has been, it wasn't pretty. It's been a fall from grace, if you will. Yeah, one one thing that Chris tweeted recently, which I, I, I think is a great talking point, especially when it comes to land play, not so much online, was the energy that Woxic did bring to this team, right? The hype and the confidence yeah. and the cockiness. And I think that was so exciting to see in Mouse Sports because, you know, when you have someone being loud and proud like that, it is going to hype you up. And Chris said it would be hard to do that without Woxic and the team. But, hey, right now, this is going well. It's early days. Let's not look into it too hard, but this is great for Mouse Sports. Down to B, they go. Rops in the lobby lurking. He gets one. Frozen with the entry into lower he goes here but not for long frozen with a quick tap back and now it's rain and brokey mouse keeping it flawless and every round something new something different they've been crunching a and back to back rounds and then they go running behind the wall of smokes we already said that this outside control was lacking for phase and with the pace that mouse sports got down behind those smokes to be phase even though they knew about it they knew it could happen they had no no idea or no way of stopping it Ninth round, by the looks of things. And, you know, we used to we used to see it be the case, and I'm talking like a while ago, but it still kind of rings true now, that, like, outside smokes on Nuke are throwing a lot, even if you intend to use them. Mouse, they haven't really been throwing these all too often, apart from when they have tried to use them. And then that just makes, like, the, the times that they fake it feel that much more impactful, you know? Because it's like, every time you've seen smokes go towards outside, if you're phased, you're like, well, they're going outside, they're doing it. And, uh... They're just directing the flow of this game like masterfully right now. Yeah, and even though FaZe, they go through the normal procedures and reactions, taking the lobby right after you lose that control. Rops, he trades one for one. That's good, honestly, considering he, he gets double rushed and he gets the info that, okay, yeah, FaZe, no lobby's clear. They know it's lower. And boom, Mouse Plus have already planted and, and Ro Frozen's got a double entry into B. These rotates have been fast for FaZe, but it's not been the solution. I mean, then next thing you know, you look at the scoreboard, it's nine to zero Woo. for Mouse Sports. Oh, oh Rokey, <laughs> absolutely Goodbye. smoking frozen right there. Ka-chow. That might throw a spanner in the works. Mouse have even smoked off main. So are they going deeper 
into the yard. Nico lets him pass. He takes a second. Goodbye. And BMAS. Brokey drops Chris. Was commed across. And now Carrigan drops. This one's a little too far gone. But let's see what they can do in the 2v5. They've won one before, right? Yeah. I think it was a 2v4. 2v5. 2v5. Yeah. Well, we'll see what they can do here. Perhaps the first round the face clan can't put up. Which has otherwise been save clan. Just got to do him like that, Trace, huh? Or James clan. However you want to look at it. Once upon a time. Ramp's open, right? Kiabi's drop B, and that's fine. But that means Mousepaws can wrap hell. So Brokey, while well, he's watching outside, and he's also got Nico there, he's also got his back turned. So back towards the ramp. Nico needs to have his wits about him. Brokey considering it, and this is the issue, right? If you if you give up this control, Mousepaws just cross for free. Although Brokey's got a uh, Brokey's going to get a free kill here as Carrigan crosses right back in. He thought it was clear. He never saw Brokey, and the bomb dropped. Robs needs to return for it. Brokey knows the bombs there as well. It's actually in the feet drop, so it's okay. He's going for the fight instead. Fifteen seconds. It's a save. Has to be. That could have been a B plan for Mouse. Like would Kier be playing passive? There was a very good chance Mouse could have made that, you know, interesting. Although FaZe were never going to give it away. Counter-terrorists win. Don't die now, Rops. Luckily, they're not hunting him down. FaZe want their guns as much as Mouse want their one. Oh. Yeah, that's why you don't jump uh, over that gap, right? Sometimes you can, you can be worried there's a gap between the two smokes. Your feet can be seen. Well, if you jump, you get caught by a man up in the heavens. Brokey's been there many around, and he is waiting. Don't want to get caught by the man in the heavens. Uh -uh. The one thing we've learned in life. Right, Harry? Yeah, man. We've all learned it. We've all been there. Oh, Hops is going to try and run the gauntlet again, but it's not through the vent. This time it's with that flash, but it hasn't worked out as diligently for him as it did last time. BMAS going to follow up, but there's still two players inside of this site. And Nico fast rotating in through main. The bomb drops down the vent and heads into B. Carrigan and Chris J. They delivered us a two on four, two on five rather, last time. This time it's a two on four. So comparatively, this is way easier. So it should be easy, right? Carrigan going to line up a flash for Chris into ramp. It does barrel through, but too deep to blind Kirby. Carrigan now getting pressured. How on earth is he meant to navigate this one? Two players wrapping around from Decon as well. His worst nightmares might be realized. Oh, I think Kirby's seen him as well. That's the round drawing to a close phase. They get a second. So it was a nine round drought of rounds for phase, but now they're starting to find their footing. And right there's the benefit of when you start to play slow on the CT side and you, you know, when you have those advantages, that's why we see, you see phase do things like that. Kiebi wasting on ramp. Mouseports, they're two on four. They need position, they need something. And so they flash in to try and get a kill. Kiebi's already patiently holding for it. And so there are the benefits of, uh, of phase not, you know, trying to hound down and rush down these T's. Getting into the swing of things. Two rounds to show for it. Back to back. Orbs out, Harry. It's happened. Carrigan, he's donning the big green. Yeah, let's see what he can bring to the table. BMAS already gone. Frozen. Oh, Carrigan trying to run the gauntlet and out in the open. Brokey just plucks him from the round. Not exactly the debut he was hoping for with that orb. It's still a three on four, still manageable. And with Rops lurking back here in the lobby, I was going to say maybe there's a chance for him to cause Ooh. some chaos, but Kirby taking heads off has dropped the bomb down at B and now leaves Rops in a very lonely world indeed. 1v4, they're wrapping him through the hut and he's got no idea. Cole also has no idea. No one has any idea. Rops, a minute left. Rain's holding the vents. A little bit paranoid about the secret push, but Brokey's just cleared that out. They're all thinking, where the hell is Rob's? I don't get it. We've cleared A. We've cleared ramp. We've been outside. Where is he? Oh, here he is. You know. Now outside. <laughs> Slowly but surely going on the... Tour of Nuke taking us around behind blue into credit card over the garage. And it's one hell of a save. <laughs> a B 
beautiful shots from Kierby in that round down lower. Just tip tapping down the uh, stairs players as they come towards B. That early rotating towards lower is uh, luscious. Yow. My Kierby's looking filthy down here at B. Yeah, sometimes you just got to put down the mic, Harry. Got to read the newspaper. Sometimes headlines might not say what you want it to, but right now, eventually, FaZe Clan have changed those headlines. Oh, well. The taps there from Nico, and it's going to be on the head of Frozen. He's going to be able to back away as well with his headlines own life. Flash to the smoke and lit up by Chris J. Yeah, this four on four. And garage control taken. Brokey's trying to hold it from hell. This is a very uh, weird fight for him to be locked into, but he can't go any further forward. Robs is lurking in lobby once again, and uh, kind of gets rewarded for it, but then gets one to the dome. Lots of damage onto Cold, at least, and denies the lobby aggression. Chris J. Oh, oh, there was a leg there. There was a leg there. Cold Zara taking him out of the equation. Leaves it on Carrigan and Bmas. 2v4. And FaZe, while they kind of uh, stumbled at converting these earlier on. I was going to say, they've been looking good as of late, but now I get nervous, especially with Bmas taking this late heaven control. Cold is wrapped back in through the hut. Retakes lobby. The heaven plant can come in, though. And with Bmas being in this position... This is now a doable two on four, turn two on three for Carrigan and Bemas. They hear that bomb go down and you can see Brokey is paranoid about the heavens potentially containing a stray mouse sports player. Oh, we almost saw him. It was close. Brokey can't go through heaven though. Surely he's going to take the long way up, but this is a lot of time ticking off the clock as a result. He's hoping that the attention into this site from the others is going to peel away the attention of Bmas in heaven. And the timing is everything here. It really is. Bmas caught looking the wrong way. There's very little time though. I think they, do they have this? Yeah, it's going to be very, very close. But yeah, they've got a fourth just about. Just about sneaking that in there right at the very end. Oh, that was terrifying, wasn't it? That was on a knife's edge, but Brokey with the perfect wrap. They knew where the plant was for. They heard it. He was hell when it went down. And so FaZe orchestrated that entire retake around it. Cole gets mollied off with like eight seconds on that bomb. So that could have gone very, very, or not eight, but a little bit more. Um, that, that could have gone very, very wrong. Carrigan had a great post-plant position, but he got flashed out on top of the hut and wasn't able to get that kill. Bemus trades, but like I said, back turned, Brokey on the late lurk, lovely stuff for FaZe. He, he is uh, the standout player right now, at least on the scoreboard. 13 and four. Nico has hit some sweet shots to Back to the yard. Mousebots will meet him there. They're lining up right now. Brokey's taking the AWP ramp. Kierby is double set up in this position as well, but that's not where Mousebots will be hitting early. The bomb is looking at ramp, so it could be split by two, but with a double CT side setup, unless FaZe rotate lower, that could get hairy. Nico above the smokes again, being a nuisance, and he takes down Frozen to start the round. Mousebots, they're going to use the smokes to wrap Carrigan. Nico's watching for it. He won't fall. And now back to ramp for Mousebots. Desperate times call for desperate measures. And with this boost employed alongside Brokey, this could get very good for FaZe. The opening kill, the bomb dropped, and it all falls apart. Yeah, the funny part is he takes that first shot and doesn't even appear to Mousebots where he takes the shot from. He ducks in. He tucks in and now just leaves Bemis to his own devices here towards the radio room or we'll call it the break room, whatever you want to call it. Another wall bang. That was pretty cool. Bemis falls to Brokey and we have the last round of half or, or the half rather. Will that be half. one tenth? That'll be one tenth of a half coming right up. Nine to five. Which is the hours that Harry worked at Tesco, I think. So... Actually, man, I worked afternoons into the night. So, oh, my bad. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so it was like five, two Put nine. some respect on my name, please. Put some Grace. respect on my name. <laughs> <laughs>
It's uh, it's looking like it could be one of these fast vent dives for Rops. This time, no flashes to accommodate. He just goes down. Kirby is alone at ramp. Brokey's going to rotate in. And Brokey's been the real nuisance here. Kirby so blind, but so is everyone else. And here comes Brokey with the rotation. This AWP now being here. The problems get worse and worse for Maus. And look at Cold Zera wrapping the lobby. So in spite of Chris J's best efforts, it might all be in vain as Rops now left to clutch this out. They last saw him dropping through the vents and going down to B. So he's going to try and play the long game towards outside, going on the longest flank you can imagine. They've got the bomb. They've got full control on the phase side and they're even holding like in case he came back up through the vent, which is basically what's happened in this round. Said it was secret though, towards outside, but they're just holding this crossfire. And as long as they play the trade game, FaZe should have this locked in. Yeah, Clutch is on Nuka like walking simulator, right? You can't make any noise. You can't run around. FaZe are moving into mm. ramp room, and this could be good for Robs. They're both here. There's a 1v1, but Rain's going to win it out. Nice shot as FaZe. They do recover. It was a strong start for Mouse Sports that gets a little bit closer near the end of the half. Still fantastic work on the T side for Mouse. 9 6, and we'll be back in a moment with the second half. Throw that love letter on your bed. I wrote that I need you, and I'm not afraid to show I that. Anything, anything, everything, everything. Anything, anything, everything, everything. The world falls down when you pick me up. I came up from a small town, no one hit me up. Now they wanna be my friend. Everybody play pretend. I could buy anything, anything, everything, everything, anything, anything, everything. She's a god girl. Welcome to my god's world. Fell in love with the diamonds and pearls. Yeah, we do what we want when we want. Sex faith with the new Saint Laurent. Party too lit, get kicked out. All alone, it's the only way to live now. Yeah, we do what we want when we want. Show anything that you want. I could buy you anything, anything, everything, everything. Strong stuff from Mouse Sports at the end of the first half. Their T side is looking good, but FaZe did come alive near the end of that uh, first half with some CT rounds. Nice six 
in the favor of Mal Sports. And right now, their debut with a little BMAS on the block, moved over from FaZe into Mal Sports. He's looking pretty good as well, but uh, Brokey topping the charts over on FaZe Clan with Kierby as well, dropping lower and dropping kills with it. It's pretty split down the middle on the odds. And so let's see where this one goes. Well, the A site has nobody in it, at least for one team. And the bomb's already down. Rain is in the vent, wrapping outside. This is a very weird round. So avert your eyes if you're not down to clown. Chris J going to try and flash in through the heavens to set his teammates up. But here comes Rain on the wrap. Kirby dealing with Carrigan. And well, this really hasn't hasn't worked out for Maus. They they just kind of Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a bit of an ugly <laughs> one there. They set up to play retake at A. Something I haven't really seen many teams try and do. Yeah, what they did is is something that has had success when I've seen it in the past, where you triple ramp, and what you do is you immediately walk ramp as the CT and, and push lobby. And so two things happen. Like, you either get rushed on ramp, and you have a triple stack, so you look pretty good there, or you get rushed on A or outside, in which case you flank lobby fast. But mouse balls rotate heaven, and yeah, that's a really hard position to retake from, especially when you're, you're the site's full of glocks. So... Yeah, I've not seen that version of it, but I like the triple ramp on pistols. I really do when you when you flank lobby because they're often so fast behind the T's as they take A, they're not ready for it, but maybe all too predictable. And FaZe had the perfect remedy, the perfect answer to that empty A site, which was to push the A site. So pretty standard. Nine to seven and the force for Maus coming up against full guns from FaZe. Rain making a little headway here, but overall the brunt of this force is going to be phased, working their way into the ramp room. With that Molotov, Frozen's going to have to back off a little bit and, well, I guess actually eradicate the Nico threat from the round. Oh dear. Wow. These Deagles have done everything that they were designed to do. And then some mouse sports have a numbers advantage. Oh here. dear. Be fed on these Deagles. Brokey finally reclaims some here for the side of phase, but good grief. Eagles have caused a big problem here. 2v4. Brokey's going to have to go for this plant out of smoke. Yeah. Be there to back him up. Now the mind games start to set in. Can the yeah. defense of KRB and Brokey, can they do it right here? Yeah, we needed a hero. And Brokey, well, he's got to be that. He needed to ace this round if they wanted to pick it up. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a really, really good force buy for Mao as they're able to snatch away those kills. Actually, when they push Chris J and Frozen, uh, it was actually Frozen they pushed out. When they when they make him leave hell, that actually pushes him into Nico, who was trying to deal with Chris J back in CT. And so everything kind of falls apart from then on in. Rop's able to get one holding the B site, and, and then, you know, yeah, immediately gets dropped, but it's two on four. This was Frozen getting pushed back by the Molotov, and that just... Oh. Left him in the firing line of Nico. This is so weird, man. Like I always think if you had a time machine and you were like, you know, you, you came to, to now back from like, tw or you went to, tw like, I can't even think when, of the phrase. When did we start? Like where were let's we leaving? Say, let's say we have, you know, we leave in like 2016, right? Uh -huh. And then you come to now and then you're like, oh, okay. Well, like Brokey is, is the guy having to, to haul this team over the line when you've got Nico, Cold Zera. The first, Yerby, right. the first question I'd have would be, who's Brokey? Yeah, exactly, right? It's like, it's just a wild, uh, wild set of circumstances. That being said, if you have a time machine, why are you using it for Counter-Strike and not, uh, you know, anything else? I like, mean, why would you use it for anything else? Yeah, I think everything should just boil down to just CS. So That's what I was thinking too. Rosters. Yeah. I guess you don't want to butterfly effect it, right? I mean, I guess you could go forward and, you know, look at some of the lineups that we have now and see what happens to them. You know, the evolution of lineups. I like it. Ooh, there could be some change on the horizon. Oh, dear. Ooh, B plant. Nico might be able to punch these digits in fast enough. He's tapping away, and he's got it. Bomb down. That's all they wanted. Doesn't matter if he dies immediately after. That was a Glock rush. Yeah, got what they wanted. Enough distraction, and somehow two kills. So, that'll do. 
FaZe had the money for the full buy and the follow-up. Also, I saw that we had a tweet that said, is it just me or did the first half of this phase mouse game have way more gun rounds than a regular match? Well, the reason for that was that phase on their CT side when they went on that, what was it, 0 and 9 or 0 and 7 loss streak, they were really prioritizing saving those weapons, right? And so with the loss bonus maxing out, they were able to, uh, to keep reinvesting on the players that would save. They would drop rifles back into place. That's why it felt like we had so many. As we did. In nine rounds in a row for Maus, and in six of them, FaZe saved guns. Fast out A though, FaZe. Ooh, quick kills. They're going in every direction, but mainly Maus Sports out on the rafters of Carrigan. And Chris covers from heaven three for the in game leader of Maus Sports as FaZe just try and crunch A, but they get crunched instead. It's 12. Instant response from the Sports. Mr. Sports. Miles and his men. And that's broken phase. That was the, the result of the bomb plant, that eco outdoor into B, all for that, gone in an instant, forgotten about. They're gonna give it another go out here. The Techninas are out. It's gonna be in Cold Zera's hand. Little do they know, Ooh. it's gonna be in Frain's hands too. He's gonna actually land the shots. Long distance Tech Nines. Harry said it wasn't possible. And lo and behold. Well, yeah, it did require Cold doing like 99% of the work. <laughs> Rops flashed in and it's a great flash indeed. Gets this round looking doable again. And Chris J now left in a 1v2. They completely leave A. They drop Brokey down into the B site. And I love the way they've played this. Cold is looking to cut down the rotation and he will. Chris was never ready for it. And even if Cold dies there, I think Brokey is the exact man you would want in that clutch scenario down in the B site, having have plenty of time to get ready for that retake. And so FaZe with just a couple of Tech Nines, couple of pistols and armor. They're able to steal a round out from under mouse sports. That flash is lovely, isn't it? There's a world where Robs gets the third as well, but yeah, FaZe had to trade that kill if they want to win the round. And they come off the back of pistols and pull it out in a quick response to mouse sports, who are now broke themselves. So this one really is swinging back and forth the money yet to be made properly by either side. Molotov thrown outside, clear red. Oh dear, it's double push into the lobby, not another eco win, surely not. Mouse sports, they lose two of their better pistols early on the CZs are gone it's back to the USPs and Chris on the D he has got to do some heavy lifting here in this round and those guns are not retrievable by mouse sports yet FaZe is still holding on to the lobby Kiem is tired of waiting around and he pushes out into A with a great transfer to take down two leaving Frozen on B stuck in place not a whole lot he's going to be able to do here The bomb is a plan. It's still plenty of time to work with. However, as I said, what you gonna do? Oh, well, he almost did it to him. I'll tell you that. He almost <laughs> did Nico in right there. Uh, but Nico wins the bout. And we see FaZe pick up another round. Okay, well. Yeah, I love, watching, home, I love watching the Kiyobi shaky aim spray transfer, man. It's, you know, every one of his kills already look like it's coming off the back of a spray transfer to begin with. <laughs> and it's just like, you know, you, it's like a double rainbow. It's like a double spray. Nice. Two for the price of one. We've got a discount deal. It's like a runaway water hose. Yeah. No, that is what it's like. I thought you were like referencing an Adam Sandler film for no, a moment. No, no, that's, no. I was like, We've done that today. I was trying to think, like, has he ever made one called Runaway Water Hose? No, you I don't might have. So. Like a great I would never know. We oh. are Runaway Water Hose. You know, like the inflatable, uh, the inflatable. Oh, flailing tube man. Yeah, those guys. Man, they really just don't get enough credit. Anyway, <laughs> full guns across the board. That means 10 of them in the server. One AWP there on Chris J. 
Yeah, this is something that FaZe did a lot um, back in Cologne as well. They put Kiebi on the roof and he would watch lower uh, through the ladder and oh, later, Rob. take outside. Well, they are far further than that. They're already down B. Kiebi's dropped to cut off this rotation. Oh, Frozen looks away as Kiebi comes out the uh, out the top. Uh, Brokey might be able to get another as Karen climbs the ladder. He could have made it up top, but he drops into the spray. And now Chris and Bimas might need to get away. FaZe are not going down without a fight, her. They're putting up a feisty T side right now. Three rounds in a row. Old Shaker B. FaZe are back in the game, though. Who would have known? b has just been great. He's like a living decoy for Chris, who they were hunting down. Oh! but they're still hunting down. They're still going for him, Chris, no! Only good for one, and Nico there to get the trade. Three in the round for Nico as FaZe reached a 10th. Now, there was the time, let us not forget, where this was 9-0 and oh in favor of Mouse Sports. So this is one hell of a recovery from FaZe. And this is where, if you're Mouse, you can start to get in your own head a bit because it felt like they had this map just locked in, like, immediately. But the old saying, it's not over till it's over. Couldn't be more true right about now. Yeah, that, that is that old proverb that people keep bringing up. It's not over till it's over. Or until one team reaches 16. Oh, the old Glaver roof of Frozen. Knife out, just playing with, well, smoke as he waits. But the, yeah, FaZe aren't falling for this. Look at it. They're, they're just waiting for the FaZe. They know he's going to appear at some point. Spray, Frozen Tux, oh no, oh dear, he's gonna get one for it, surely no more, and shut down after that, Nico, he, he considered it, he told his teammates to cover his back, but uh, Frozen Tux in the right place, and this is only pistols for mouse balls, right, they did crunch the lobby the other time and get two early frags, but traded back by FaZe, and Kiebi cleared out the A site swiftly afterwards, FaZe wait out the main smoke before moving into that exact position, and there are two on this top site, but again, pistols. Oh, Rops is going to get mollied out. They check for Bmas, and there we go. That round is over. That's Cold Zeret there to lock it in. 11 to 12, about to tie things up with Mouse Sports. And while FaZe were doing a great job of saving weapons on their CT side in their man disadvantage rounds, this is not the case for Mouse. Whenever they've tried to go for them, they've been hunted down by FaZe, so they are feeling the full brunt of this CT economy coming back to hurt them here. Yeah, it actually surprises me how this is FaZe's most played map, but also one of their worst win percentages. They have so many close losses. 16, 14 to Vitality, OT to Vitality, double digits multiple times against Heroic, Big, Cole, and so, They've been in these places before, but will they come alive right at the final hurdle? Push it over the line, Kiebi. Oh dear, he's been checked, Carrigan. He's gonna get him from above. It's a trade though, there's still one more man gone from the back of the site. Yeah, oh, sorry, he's still here. I thought they entered him. Bmas, he's alive and kicking. And he's only gonna kick down one before eventually the numbers in phase overwhelm him. They found a kill elsewhere towards main uh, at the same time. So Rops and Chris, again, do you wanna save? Do you wanna go? Neither of those options are pretty as you are a man down. Oh, well, there's an opener, and now they're definitely interested. The flash came from heaven, so they know that Chris J is there, and the timing just couldn't be worse for Rops. Chris is going to have to hold on to the AWP, and so FaZe tie us up at 12 to 12 from a game that they were 0 and 9 down in. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, man, with how FaZe play this, like, it feels like, you know, the, the, the style of someone like Nico, it's never going to be this flashy CS that. You know, you're always doing something crazy and winning the rounds out immediately or even winning the rounds at all. But he's very, very good at playing it by the numbers and setting up like longevity within what FaZe are bringing to the table. And the benefit to doing that in the first half of play is that you still have the second half to bounce back in, you know? Whereas Maus, it's going to feel a lot less tempting to go for these same saves that FaZe were going for in like three on fours. Like if you're Maus Sports, you're attempting every one of them, you know? And that's why they never have this money in the bank accounts to go for investments. 
Yeah, five rounds in a row for FaZe, and Mouse Sports have saved one gun over the course of those five rounds, and that was just then, with Chris getting away in spawn. So, they got to buy around it. Oh, that's a very risky move for Mouse Sports, who do have a lot of loss bonus, and they would have had enough to buy the AWP in the next round anyway, so you don't want to fully commit. Frozen has been uh, given a FAMAS, or bought it up, rather, but... Yeah, not everyone full buying around that. So they've got a chance to, to put up some fights in this round, but ooh, it's not going to be easy. FaZe have had a very good T-side, and they're going back to the door, back to the fast A. It's been so nice to them. Why not be nice to it? Double entry for Kierby, spraying with a MAC-10, and immediately a save call, perhaps, might be the best option. Might be the only option. I mean, FaZe just took upper with force on the back of a MAC-10. Yeah, that's why you want those those mollies, right? Like the the full buys from Mouse Sports are going to make all the difference. That's a that's a call that yeah, FaZe are crunching A, but they're not doing it off of spawn until they know that Mouse don't have the economy to stop them with utility with numbers. And you know, the second the Mouse starts stacking A, FaZe will go outside or ramp. As it went on the the exact opposite or the exact same, however you look at it, in the other half. Mouse boards, they had FaZe's number on A every time, and then as soon as FaZe tried to find solutions, Mouse boards would move to the yard smokes. Goodbye, Rops, dropped by the fast one. And Chris, same story. The orb does not get saved. He got mollied. He had to take that fight. I like the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Frozen popping his head out to take one down with him. But it's not going to matter in the long run. Mouse boards are buying up here, and they need results. They need a round as FaZe have six in a row. Chris J is donning the big green gun. The BGG. And will it be a big GG at the end of this round? Because if Mouse don't pick it up here and now, their time is, is pretty much run out, right? Like money is not in a good spot again. So another just downfall of the economy looming and they've got no choice but to sit back and hope that they can find success here in round 26. Chris gonna reposition all the way back into CT. And this now leaves a guy like Frozen in a bit of a rough spot, really. He's gonna try and hold main and this A site. And while he does have teammates over in A to help him out, it can still feel very claustrophobic if you're Frozen here. He's gonna go through the smoke and he saw nothing outside. Now, Nico is here. You know, he just caught the timing behind red. And so now he gets down through secret. And Maus, they're not aware of this at all. Chris J trying to hold on to ramp room, but a missed shot to open up the round. Nico making a bit of noise and Rops is just gonna spam him through the secret smoke. But regardless, the rest of FaZe now move in for the kill down towards B. There's lots of rotates already here, though. Mouse Sports is three in the lower secret. 15 seconds, FaZe have to stick the plant. Yeah, we're going to try and clear. Rops holds on. They're coming at him from the doorway. No plant yet in sight. Raven, another entry. TikTok. Brokey's got another, but BMAS has dropped the bomb out the decon door. FaZe is so focused on hunting these kills, they won't cover the plant, and that's going to come back to bite them in wow. the arse. Brokey, great shots, but FaZe not noticing the clock, trying to double push the double doors, and instead, BMAS just swings and stops that bomb plant on the B side. That is such a problem. I also want to talk about the fact that Frozen gets flashed outside, but he gets blinded by the flash, never gets the info. And so Mouse Sports assume there's more B than there actually is, and they early rotate to lower. FaZe, they threw the fake smokes outside, but they still end B, and that's exactly what Mouse Sports expected despite the lack of info. You know Kerrigan's just sitting back behind the vents, just watching the timer tick, just, <laughs> just hanging out. Knows that the easiest way to win the round is to let the timer go down. Yeah, it's all on BMAS though. Like he gets that kill and, and without it, that would have been phase, you know, planting, aggressing into a great position, having good real estate for the post plant. Oh, bro, he's not ready for that. But Rob's to see him, I don't know how. He gets away with that kill. And Mouse bought a man up. Maybe some wind in their sails after all. Maybe they'll be gliding to victory lane. Phase right now feeling the pain. Their top performer are down and out before the round has even begun.
Also, look at Carrigan. Very gross spot over on the forklift in CT. Oh dear. Chris gets a little bit curious as to what's going on at ramp, and that's a decision that could really come back to hurt Mouse Sports. The bomb is dropped all the way outside, and so FaZe do have to go and get that at some point. That's what nico has been given the responsibility of. Carrigan, knowing that he has to try and hold Hell, has crept back in through CT, and that wasn't Kirby. So they should know that another man could be nearby. That's Ooh. what Rops was meant to come in and deal with. They now see him at ramp, and that's FaZe going, all right, well then, if one's at ramp, we just kill one CT. Maybe it's a bit of a B-lean, so they try and pick up the pace. They don't really have any more options open to them than to hit this A site. Nico, bomb dropped, and with it, that should be the round. Rops gonna finish things off for Maus, 14 on the ball. Board. Three staying alive, so they're just about hanging on to the money, but there is still plenty of cash for FaZe, so this game still has some legs on it yet. That was a very weird one. FaZe had a lot of control in it, but it wasn't control that the mouse balls were unaware about, even though Carrigan gets caught. Rops, he gets that lower kill, he goes straight back up into the A site where they are triple stacked for the round. FaZe walk right into it, scared of secret after they've already lost Brokey there, and for good reason. Very up and down, but Mouse Sports keep it in the palm of their hand. 14 to 13. Two in a row for Mouse Sports after that massive streak that you can see from FaZe. Brokey has just not taken any prisoners in this one. 25 and 12. I mean, we saw him hunting down frags, trying to get that round for FaZe just a few rounds ago, and the one that the timer dwindled down and escaped them. Here we are, back on weapons, both sides. An even playing field. All back for Brokey as well. Not looking to lose it, Moa. Taking it outside. Taking his time while he does. Kirby holds onto ramp for more aggression. Chris gave him a kill in the previous round, but it didn't worry Mouse Sports, other than giving away some significant map control, which was contained by Rops and Carrigan. Somewhat. Smokes outside, again, for this T side. They're gonna move behind them towards the garage, but the looks of things, Nico might even wrap main, it's an option. Oh no, the spray, the spam, it's perfection. Chris kills Nico, and he doesn't even see him. That's a horrible way for FaZe to lose their first man in this round, in such a crucial one as well. Could all come tumbling down, as it often does in the late digits for FaZe on Nuke. Rain looking for the trade. He knows Chris is nearby. Here's a utility. Chris peeks, and that's enough info. Chris doesn't want any more from that. Carrigan has lower, and so B is controlled. Mouse sports don't need to worry about this potential outside to secret wrap. They've just got to more care about the upper play. Carrigan is playing super safe, jumping in decon as well, so he's not even giving up a fight for phase as the, talk, the clock ticks down. They're just surrounding this A side by the looks of things, and this is desperation. Back to secret they go. Probably the right call right now with four players on upper. Molly won't keep anyone there because Frozen could swing outside at a moment's notice and get this info. At this point, it's looking clear to be B. Rops turned the wrong way. Kiebi doesn't check it. And Rops, patient as anything, gets the kill as FaZe run B. Carrigan trying to hold the line, but too many players through that door. And B now opened wide up by FaZe. They're gunning for 14, and if they get this round, they, they turn the economy of Mouse to disarray. And that there, that would flip this entire game on its head again. But it all hinges on actually picking this round up, and slowly but surely their numbers are dwindling. It falls to Rain and Cold Zera to try and hold the line. Oh. Now, just Cold, the whole world against him. Down goes one, follows up with a second, but Rops comes in from the ramp, from quick flank from him. And nabs that round for Maus. 15 now to their name. Three for Cole to get a damn good try. But not enough to delay Maus reaching map point on their map pick. The boost up on ramp as well. Kiebi thought he found the gap, right? He's been lurking out in that position before, uh, and so thought there was a lot more room, but Rops waited. And at that point, he gets the kill. He knows it's B. He's calling for it. Carrigan's jump spotted the lower players. Even though he gets mown down, he puts up some damage. He gets the info. And Miles have a man up on the retake. They play it perfectly. 15 to 13. And FaZe, still a chance, still time, still money. But two rounds in a row needed to get it to OT, and then we start the clock again, then we begin 
as Mouse Sports, they are looking more to end their map pick and send us to Inferno. Two chances to find one round. Let's see if they can do it. Well, that tactical timeout from FaZe Clan. Do you wonder what the decision was, what the call is? Obviously a buy here. They're not going to hold on to what they've got. But what will they do differently? That's the real question that I guess all of us are kind of asking here. 15-13 and back against the wall, leaning against the ropes. Oh, Frozen just about winning that out. And now on the other side of these smokes, he's a real threat indeed. But if he tries to go back through, he is surely dead. Oh, oh. instead, he's going to turn it against FaZe and continues to strip players away. Carrigan not looking at the hut. Now leaves this A-hold on the shoulders of BMAS, who's getting pressured from seemingly everywhere. Chris J up on the rafters, good for another. And it falls to Brokey in the clutch. Has dealt with BMAS. And now just Rob's left to contend with. Drops the smoke in main. Rob's on the other side, trying to find a gap to look through. Brokey creeping his way towards the vents. And in doing so, Rob's might see the feet here, but he has been able to get down. Rob's hears the drop and is in hot pursuit. Detective Rob's is on the case. And Brokey's looking to elude his captor. He plants the bomb, swings the door, Rob spams oh, him down, wow. and Mouse Sports take nuke. Now